This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross start your eyes. Sway in the morning. Shave 4 5. 39 minutes past the top of the hour. Citizens, Sway's out today. He's traveling to Minneapolis, Minnesota to hold sound set. But guess what? This is the first time I think all the ladies that are part of the Sway in the Morning team, we are all at work early today, mm -hmm. shining brightly because the one and only, I call him my special white chocolate, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Kellen Lutz. He came in here, ladies. Let me just paint the picture. Please do. Smelling so good. <laughs> Hugging so tight. He gave me a kiss. I hate you, Tracy. I'm just adding he, to the flavor. He gave Tracy a kiss. <laughs> he put some dark out, blackout shades on Kelly, and he just hugged me in the crook that was in my neck and my left side breast. They are now <laughs> gone. I'm just being real with y'all. It's the one and only Kellen Lutz. I love you, Kellen. <laughs> <laughs> That's make me blush. <laughs> she need a tip jar. <laughs> it's good do. being here. It's good being here. Again. Thank you so much for coming through. Now, when we were talking about Bullseye earlier, DB, who's a part of the show, he's not a lady, but he's just here hanging out. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got to hug me. Yeah, you, you, he's here and hanging out, hating, and uh, trying to arm wrestle you again, only to lose. Um, <laughs> but he was explaining to us about Bullseye and just talking about the show and it being a competition stunt show. Yeah. To me, most, well, from what I hear, and correct me if, if I'm wrong, most actors don't want to do their own stunts, and it's more like people at home like us like yo I would do that I would I jumped off I bungee jumped one time off of the uh, spaceship needle in uh, Las Vegas Whoa. as uh, a part of a competition I uh, skydived yeah part of a competition I was trying to be you know fearless not for as much money as your show was giving away <laughs> but you know it's people like us that sit home on our couches that's crazy and feeling like daredevils how many people came out to compete on this show we have eight contestants we have four men four women with three insane stunts. And I love doing stunts in the movies. Mm -hmm. And doing this hosting uh, for Bullseye fits right between some of my action movies, so it's nice. It works great. Mm. But um, it's it's pretty insane because movie world, you use special effects sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you're really not mm -hmm. doing the extreme stunt to the fullest that it shows. This show, you don't have that. We're putting our contestants. So we have four guys, four girls, eight contestants. Three challenges. After the first one, it's all about how close you can get to the bullseye. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the two guys and two girls who do the best, who get closest, move on to the second challenge, which is always a little bit bigger and, and more crazy. Mm -hmm. And that's all about how many bullseyes you can get. And then after that, one person's eliminated. You go to your C stunt, which is a timed one. We usually have, I mean, for... We have helicopters, we have trains, we have boats. We, we blow yeah, stuff yeah. up. It's uh, What's the injuries like? Has anyone gotten hurt at all? I think I got. I'm the only one who got like blood coming. <laughs> like, what I mean, happened? I was do, I was doing one. Like, one of the reasons I wanted to do the show was if I could do the stunts. Cause I've never hosted, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I'm obsessed. I have this really insane passion for stunts and just doing extreme activities. So when they approached me, I said, "I'll do it if I can do some of the stunts." Like, it'd be a tease just to like talk to contestants like, right. how was mm -hmm. it so they uh finally said they cracked they said i could do some and uh one of them i did was the human slingshot so they mm. you're in this harness that's the two cranes <laughs> they pull know. you back <laughs> by doom buggy and then they just release you and you go flying over a canyon 300 feet down and you have to drop a bullseye well when i was back there i didn't have a helmet on and one of the carabiners just hit the oh! back of my head so i go flying i'm like yeah <laughs> like this is just Super insane <laughs> and then like the pain hits and you're like oh, oh. and then just blood oh my god <laughs> so then after that they unhitch me they're like are you all right and you know I've, I've gotten hurt tons of times so you know you don't really feel the pain but i had to get five stitches and long story short i had to go introduce the cast and be like hey this is your stunt this is what you're gonna be doing as blood is just like <laughs> tripping right. down my head good thing you ain't got no ball spots I, I, yeah i'm trying to feel all right in the hood you know people <laughs> jump over cars and they jump from like rooftop the rooftop, to rooftop. Uh, you know they kick the can <laughs> and play hood stick ball and street ball you grew up in north carol uh, north, north dakota, dakota yeah. So, like, what was the games, the hood games, or whatever did you do to make you want to be, like, this daredevil? Cow tipping. Just tons of cow tipping. <laughs> <laughs> who, who can push that cow over? No, we were, I was a giant pyro. I was always building some sort of 
fire. And we would take our ATVs, we'd light the fire pit, we would drive our ATVs, or my old brothers fine. would say, like, oh, it's safe. Put us in there, and there's, like, gasoline on the back. We were, we were crazy kids. Are you extreme in your sexual activities, Always, too? of course. Tracy jumped right in. I was trying to warm you up, <laughs> Kellen. I was going to butter the I, bread I was first before I bite it. Oh, my God. For well, goodness. They're <laughs> wasting too much time to get to the juice. All right, well, DB, before I attack... I was going to ask you about, because I know you, you've done uh, Expendables, you've done Hercules, you've done Tarzan. So, I mean, you've been like this big upcoming action star of the past couple of years. But has anybody tried to talk you into doing like the romantic comedy, cheesy kind of like, oh, let's soften it up and, you know, appeal to the ladies more and that kind of thing? Yeah, well, I mean, that's the great thing about our industry is you can transform yourself and play whatever character you want. For me, the passion of comedy and, and doing action movies, that's where it lays in my heart. I do love doing dramas and independent movies like experimenter with uh peter skarsgård winona ryder you're playing and, william shatner yeah i am so <laughs> I, obviously when they approach me for that i'm like yeah i would love to and i love romantic comedies i mean i haven't done one since love wedding marriage with mandy moore um but you know I'm, it, it just has to speak to you mm -hmm. and a lot of action ones speak to me and i very much look forward to doing uh you know thrillers and dramas and you know crying on camera and you know playing a doctor whatever it may be uh, but I love having a gun and fighting, so right. it's uh, I was like, you know, soft driving side. fast. Yeah, 888-742-3345. Kellen Lutz, he's here, citizens. If you want to talk to him, maybe you're trying to break into the movie industry. you out in the middle of North Dakota somewhere, too. You don't know how it's all going to get started for you. He's here. Talk to him live. And Swain the Morning, Shade 45. I love my job, citizens. Swain the Morning, <laughs> Shade 45. Sometimes when Sway is out, man, the guests still come through and hang out with Tracy G and I. Kelly Kincaid is here as well. All the ladies are here. Usually yep. we're just here with the guys, but we're hanging out with Kellen Lutz today. He stopped through to talk about his new reality show. It's called Bullseye. Co-hosted Godfrey is yeah. co-hosting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. How does that awesome. work out? Man, Godfrey, you know, when they approached me for this one, I'm like, all right, so who's the hot girl you're going to get? You know, let me just know if I have any history there or anything. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they're like, bang. Um, you know, because you have shows like you know, Wipeout, they had uh, Jillian and, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hot Girls and Vanessa. And, um, so for, for mine, they're like, oh, no, we're thinking of doing this. And I was like, that is awesome because Godfrey's a comedic genius. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's great having him in L.A. I know he's from, you know, over over on the East Coast over here in yep. uh, New York. He's in town, actually. I'm going to try and see him tonight. But working on the show with him and then going to the Laugh Factory and watch him do his stand-up and then Comedy sh uh, Store – He's funny. Even on yeah. set, like, we can't use half the stuff he says that, because right, he's right. so vulgar and just quick. And, you know, we're like, all right, Godfrey, now now do the TV one. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's all right but he has the highest energy, the greatest guy to work with. Um, you know, I love every day he's, like, eating food and then, like, wardrobe's like, Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, you got like Sticking stuff on, on you. Yeah. <laughs> well, but like, he's, he's he's great to work with. That's good. Because it's funny, you brought up history and which hot girl. Um, Anna Lynn, your ex, she was actually here. And your name came up. We didn't go digging in her business or anything like that. <laughs> um, but we were just talking about things and her past relationships. And your name came up. Here's what she had to say. <laughs> Yo, God. Helen, I'm sorry. Okay. Ryan, I'm sorry. No. Okay. Uh, I actually did name a couple, didn't I? Yeah, right. Um, Not no, Kellen Lux, was it? <laughs> yes, I wasn't nice to him. Kellen's my man! He's wonderful. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. And I, I, I have apologized to him for the crazy Anna that he remembers, but but I, I didn't realize how lucky I was. He, he was so a wonderful, good, wonderful, wonderful man. He's yeah. fine. <laughs> and he's very hot. Oh yeah, my see, god! Yeah, don't leave that shit out. <laughs> you blew it. Like, uh, there's a reason that we made up them as many times as we made up. <laughs> Kellen, you you heard me stand up for you, boo. You heard me represent for all these bitches that try to come back out and try to say sorry now that you mine. What what you, what you, what do you do, Kellen? I mean, because it has to be hard though. Seriously, I'm, we we laugh and we joke about it, and we're all happy for you here because you've been a friend of the show forever. But just a dude like you walking down the street or trying to be in what they call a normal relationship, how hard is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm single, so it's uh, it's very hard. It, it it is very hard, and you know, I think through the years, I finally realized what what works, what mm -hmm. works best with me. So I'm patient, and uh, I'm not you know so quick to just jump into a relationship, and because uh, those always end in heartbreak. Like they're fun, you get connected, and then mm -hmm. you're like, well, look, this 
this has an end date. Mm-hmm. So, um, but it's it's tough. It's tough to meet people, especially when I travel, and most of the people in my industry are in the industry, and mm-hmm. right. uh, it's I kind of just want like a normal girl. I want to find someone who's like, you know, a, a children physician or a dentist or you know. I don't know, just someone. Damn, I'm in the industry. Or, or you know, radio host. Or something. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> what about all of these like groupies? I'm sure that are always just trying to tug on something from you. Does, does anyone do? That's anything fine. They crazy? can tug as much as they want. I'm t- okay. That's cool. It, there's no commitment there. Yeah, but has anyone ever tried to do anything crazy, like get your attention and just show their infatuation for you, like out of the ordinary? Uh, mm-hmm. I mean the. Like a psycho fan. There's a, yeah, there's a, there's one when well, I mean, there's a lot, but the one that really stood out that I'm still like baffled because I love engineering and building stuff. Mm-hmm. One of these Twilight fans during one of the signings, she had one of my Emma doll. I finally got an Emma doll at like the fifth movie, and she came. She <laughs> wanted me to sign it, and she's like, I upgraded it, and I'm like, what's that mean? Uh oh. <laughs> and she's like, watch. She turns around and starts vibrating. It's this little doll. It's like <laughs> vibrating. <laughs> And and again, like I didn't, I was a little ignorant because you know you're busy signing. I'm like, oh, that's cool, and like I sign it, and she's just like, I used it this morning. And I was like, wow, Whoa. you got a taste of your head. I was like, you are created. How'd it feel? How'd it make you feel? <laughs> but yeah, very, that's very, power. they're very creative. Well, that that's crazy. Well, Vivica <laughs> Fox was here yesterday, and she kind of broke the news to us and was telling us that she's working on Independence Day too. You know, um, we didn't know that she was doing that. Congratulations to her. You walked in here today, if you don't mind us showing it with like some dark out shades and and something that you said from your clothing line. Yeah, what's going on with you outside of the the, the reality show and 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 the films? Well, I mean, I was going to college for chemical engineering. I love building stuff and being an inventor, so to speak. So I have five patents right now. And this is the latest one that's in product, um, you know, whatever it's called. Uh, these are my blackout bands. So they're essentially, you know, I was getting photographed with sleep masks on flights. And people were, like, tweeting and being like, oh, look at him. It looks girly. And it's like, whatever. Um, <laughs> so then I started putting on sunglasses. And they never blocked out the sun. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, let's problem solve this. So I made blackout bands, which you can't see through. But so people don't. Smart. People think you're just wearing sunglasses. So it's- and then Abbott and Maine, that's my clothing line with my amazing partner, Danny Gez. We started five years ago. He did William Rass with Justin. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been amazing. It keeps on growing. Uh, we have some amazing designers that we work with. Such a great team. Shout out to Richard Horgan. He's been the man helping us drive the company. And it's just fun designing. That's so, crazy. That congratulations with that. And the um new films and, and other things that you're working on. Films I've uh, been producing, been writing a bit. Uh the one I'm doing next is called Feud with uh Steven C. Miller. Uh mm-hmm. same director I worked with on uh Extraction with mm-hmm. Bruce Willis. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I actually I might do a movie out here in the Hamptons, which would be great, all of June. And then working on uh, the movie Sandstorm. That's going to take me to Germany based off the book. He's booked. Yeah, Good how are you, you going to get a bull with all of this working? Kellen, I'm confused. Back to the industry. That's a, that's a good question. You know? <laughs> Back to the industry, girl. DB? <laughs> You ready for this? Let's Uh-oh. do it. What happened? Arm wrestling time. Oh, Part three. Gosh, we <laughs> All right. That now up next. Hey, okay, out. we're going to do it right now. Move away, Tracy G. I'm Citizens. 888-742-3345. You want to take a bet to see who's going to win this arm wrestling match right now that's going down between DB and Kellen Lutz. Let's sway the border. Right now. Do it live. Shade 4-5. What's happening? DB going to move to the left? To the right. I'm right on. Right on. Okay. I'm right. Oh, we'll do right. Yeah. Kellen said he hasn't been working out because for reality TV shows, he's trying to look regular. His regular is like four times bigger than DB. <laughs> DB had a donut and a soda this morning for breakfast, <laughs> keeping up that breakfast of champions this morning. Yep. Probably a cigarette, too. Do you smoke cigarettes, DB? <laughs> DB smokes? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> added on to his, his, his loss. Sorry, DB. I'm sorry. DB, I got you. Kelly, go with you. I'll go with Kellen. All right. One, Mississippi. Two, North Dakota. Three, Jersey City. Let's go. Damn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, is on the table. It's over. Damn. Oh, got it. Oh, oh man. How many seconds was that? Oh, oh, DB's oh, foot was off the floor. DB, how does it feel taking another <laughs> loss? Time. You missed the ball. I used my entire body weight. <laughs> To cheat 
and he still beat me. Mm. How many seconds? At least ten. <laughs> ten. They saying that it was four. Minus six. <laughs> Kellen, just really quickly, because I'm curious <laughs> about the four seconds. It doesn't happen like that normally. You longer than four seconds, about, right, no, Kellen? but then you go like 50 times, so it's like, great. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Kellen, you are you are everything here for us. We're talking about women. Yeah, this is it. Okay, all right. Yeah, we talk about that. All right, his new show, Bullseye, it premieres on Wednesday, May 27th at 9 Eastern Standard Time on Fox. Support this man. He's a really good dude more than anything else. That's why we love him so I much. Love Thank you. you so much for stopping through. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45. 